Alis na kami, papunta na kami sa Toronto. So, wala mo waiting. Ito yung plane natin. Punang-puno ng Korean Airlines. So, we'll go there and check it out. I will be seated at 38J. Bawal mo video sa mga ibang tao so, sempre. seated and we're waiting for the boarding to finally end so that the flight will commence so it will be about 12 hours of uh, flight on our way to Toronto so
changing your diapers and so meron siyang lalagyan ng ano toilet bowl
very patag lang pala siya okay, there could be a lot of you know it's like a collection of big cities Toronto as it's downtown Area. Ito pala yung Pearson Airport. Both sides quite big. Over there. So, just walk in. Hala yun naman pala. Uy! <laughs> Sige lang. Hi. I checked it in. So, I checked it in. Hi. Hi. Oh, play man, I want to Okay, welcome to Canada. Bienvenue au Canada. Pa, pa si auntie. Laban ng tiger. Sige, immigration mo na ako. So, ayan, dreamers. Tapos na ako sa... Ano, I'm done with the... No. Immigration and customs. So, no. so these are the documents being required during my interview with the immigration officer. First is the passport and valid COVID RT-PCR test result. Second is a port of entry letter which is given by the IRCC when they stamp your passport. And third is the letter of acceptance from school. And lastly, the other papers you can get when you arrive which includes your health declaration and customs declaration along with many others so what are the questions being asked to me during the interview first was i was asked how long am i going to stay in canada so i answered two years because that's the duration of my program second is what are you here for so i told them i'm here for study and how much cash do you have so I told them I have about 2,000 Canadian dollars. She was asking me how much cash because nobody can bring uh, cash more than 10,000 Canadian dollars. That's not allowed. And the fourth one was, are you bringing cannabis? So I told her no. 
but cannabis is legal here in uh, Ontario and in Canada so that's why they asked me for it after she stamped on my passport she pointed me to another office with a long queue for study permit and work permit applications as they will give you your study permit and work permit upon arrival I will go to the vid testing area and oh my god I didn't even get a chance to to take take a bath <laughs> so COVID-19 testing muna kami and I'll see you later so. Punta na kami sa quarantine hotel and I don't know it's quite tired and hungry this is about what I feel every time for me we will see you in the sub, so see you later on. We will give you a sub test kit. Say it again. Hello dreamers! Do you know what? I am going to the airport because I don't have Canadian dollars. I have cash because I withdrew from the cash. What is going on? Andito na ako. And then Pabalik ako sa hotel. Ako lang mag-isa. So, I'll let you know soon. If I was there. The weather is very nice today. It's very sunny. And pero 10 degrees siya. 10 degrees ang temperature. Malamig. Malamig yung hangin. Sobra pa sa aircon natin dyan sa Pinas. I'm 10. Yeah, I think it's me. Oh? Yeah. Okay. Anna. Sorry. Because uh, someone picked me up from Hampton. I just went back to to exchange money. Yeah, because I don't have Canadian dollars at the moment. And I forgot to change it when I was at the airport earlier. Uh, it's quite high. I'm sorry? No, Philippine money. So it's like too little. Ang lit ng exchange rate na ang dala ko 73,000 in cash kasi yun. Ang exchange rate niya is nasa mga $1,450 lang. Siguro nasa mga na, na 300, $200 to $300 yung uh, ano. Pero, no choice. Kasi gilang, mababawi din yan kapag uh, magsisipag tayo sa ating mga gagawin dito. Mag-aaral at saka magkatrabaho. Okay? I'm so excited to work. I haven't been working for like two years na... Ay, doon ako mag-moment sa, sa hotel kasi pangit mag-moment dito. <laughs> Yan, yeah, so... 3 p.m. pa. It's 1 p.m. here. 3 p.m. pa yung check-in sa hotel. Pero may room na daw ako. And they will help me out with this. So, show to you the hotel when we arrive, ha? Yun yung Marriott. Andito ako sa Hilton. So, Hampton Inns and Suites by Hilton. Ito ito mga airport quarantine hotel so it's mandatory to ano to stay for 3 nights sa kanilang hotel perfect thank you very much have a great day
I'm back. Bye.